Andy and Molly met in a program called Edina Special Children's Group. They met every day for six weeks. A little van would pick each of them up at their homes and they would go to whatever program was available that day. We meet at the Wimmer Golf Course Club. I was 16 and he was seven. But after three years, the program disbanded. Andy and Molly went their separate ways. Then fast forward about 26 years when Andy had moved into his apartment. He was walking down to the staff apartment and out of another apartment, Molly McLaughlin walked out. I was getting ready to go out for dinner and I opened up the door. That was when I was telling it. They remember me from 35 years. Their eyes just locked. Like it just brought them back to their childhood. You could see it in both of them. You could see this joy that they both had, that they were seeing each other again. And I think from that moment, Molly was like, I'm moving in here. I don't care what anybody else says. <laughs> like this is my place. He's cute, very handsome. And I like calling his hand. Hammer does a really great job at helping our individuals find who they are in their own homes, but also in their communities. Our individuals that are in our apartment programs, they're here for a reason. They need support from staff at some level. A staff person is here to help them live as independently as they can in that apartment, but also integrate them into their society that they live within. When we saw the spark of really love between the two of them right from the beginning. It was wonderful. I think that they just really get each other. They've been friends forever. They've known each other for so long that they've really built this great foundation and this great relationship. I think they're very patient with one another. What's true to their love and their relationship is that uh, they'll have arguments at times, but they always make up when they can't agree on something and it's just kind of escalating. Molly will tell Andy, shut up and kiss me. <laughs> and then Andy will just be like, Molly, and then she'll say, come over here, and then she'll give him a kiss, and then they start laughing, and then the fight's over. They knew that they wanted to spend the rest of their life as a married couple. We just helped them along and kind of coached them through the idea of what, it, what being married really looks like. And then once he decided that he did really want to get married and he went and got a ring and brought her to his family's home for Christmas and he proposed on Christmas Eve in front of his family. And he was on his knees and he said, Molly, will you marry me? I said, yes. And I'm never nervous. No, he was never nervous. Nope. They would come to my house and go up on the computer upstairs and listen to music that they wanted for their wedding. And I would go upstairs in the computer room and they would be standing there with tears running down their faces, listening to the songs and the words that they wanted at their wedding. It's very cool to see two people that we support get married. There was nothing that the kids wanted that Hammer said they couldn't do. They could have the kind of relationship they wanted, the ceremony that they wanted, and Hammer supported them with that. I think that's just the way Hammer works, and that's why it's been so successful with our kids. Honestly, it was one of the most beautiful weddings that I'd ever been to. Most of the wedding guests were family members that came from literally all over the world. Andy got up and made speeches for the special people in his life, and the same thing with Molly. Just to hear all that stuff just, just warmed my heart. The other big component of the wedding was their friends at Lake Place, kids that lived in the apartment program with them. They form a very cohesive group, and those kids were there and participated just by their smiles and their tears during the wedding. It was very gratifying being able to be a part of their wedding and supporting them to reach their dream of getting married. Living as independently as he does and then finally being able to be married just shows that there's no limit to what a person with special needs can do. I love it so much. Thank you. Because I like your nose. It really is beyond any dreams that we had for him when he was a little boy. <laughs>